Wario yeah. was just just on the the tail end of another adventure himself. That yeah. He uh he thwarted the pirates' revenge on him. But they they stole his castle, but then he took it back and stole all of his treasure back and also all of their treasure. And so that that was that was good. Wario was feeling good from all of that. So they have this party and everyone starts arguing because. Somehow, in the conversation, the idea of who is the greatest superstar comes up. And uh, I, they're having this weird conversation. Everyone's arguing that they would be the superstar. Whatever that ends up meaning. So, Toad is there, and he's just like... He's kind of getting sick of this shit. So, he, he throws an idea out there. Saying, you know what, everyone? Wait, let's let's go around and prove who is this superstar. Let's go around the kingdom and go and s solve problems with our, our power stars. We've got all these power stars. They're no good for kingdom defense, apparently. So let's use them to, to help people. And then whoever is the best at that, at helping people, they're the superstar. That's, that's what being a superstar is about, right? It's helping people. And finding... Ancient and, Kong treasures. Too. Yeah, and, and he uh, he kind of convinced everyone to, to like he gamified it a bit, and uh, part of the game ended up being giving Toad lots of money, and mm -hmm. uh, he kind of made serious bank off of that. It's probably part of the castle funding scheme that they had. Uh, maybe, maybe, but um. Yeah, he solicited everyone for ideas on, you know, where should we go to help people with the Power Stars, and what should we do, and, uh, as it turns out, everyone's a selfish prick, and did, did something completely self-centered with these celestial magics. Like, make a giant cake, or... Like, no, not make a giant cake. The princess had already made the giant cake. She used the magic to decorate for her birthday party around the giant cake that she had already baked. Princess is bad! <laughs> She's a bad ruler. Ah, uh, but, um... Let's see. Mario just had a rainbow painted across a castle that he found in the sky. And I guess claimed as his own. So that was, that was his thing. Um, Wario, I mean, you can't really fault Wario for using it selfishly. But it also wound up being the least selfish, despite his selfishness. Because he stopped a war between ball bombs. He might have started the war. It's entirely possible that he started the war. He was most likely profiteering off of the war by selling weapons to both sides, and he was just stopping the war so that they could rebuild their economy so that they would be able to afford more weapons. But, uh, you know, he, th he still stopped this war. That was what he did with Celestial Magic. Uh, nobody and else. Oh, no, Yoshi. Yoshi was also somewhat Yoshi selfless. Helped Yoshi helped two people. helped Yoshis. Yoshi helped other Yoshis. Two other Yoshis. Yeah. Which is Which more than it's anyone It's better else. than fucking anyone else did. Donkey Kong used it to find treasure. Just his own fucking treasures. Uh, Luigi used it to start up a mysterious engine. Which turned out to be the engine of an airship? Yeah, so now Luigi has an airship, I guess. Yeah, that'll never come up. Um, let's see, uh, in another universe at this, around this time, uh, some god creature was animating his dolls of Mario and other characters and it making really them It really didn't fight. have anything to do with Mario. It's nothing to do with Mario. But, uh, then, there was some, some more weird things happening. Um, the Yoshi mating season, it, I don't know if it, this may have just been like a Yoshi that was late in mating showed up and uh, demanded food, but this time it wasn't just food, it was cookies. Uh -huh. This Yoshi shows up and demands cookies. Maybe this wasn't even like related to the mating season, maybe this was just like a Yoshi bandit demanding uh, money because the Yoshis use cookies as currency. That's true. But, uh, you know, also they use cookies as food, because they are the most delicious thing to a Yoshi. So, it comes by and traps Mario, and forces Mario to bake cookies, because they you know Mario is the source of the cookies. Yeah, Mario... Mario is the source of Yoshi's cookie. 
Yeah, so Mario was forced to fake and he got out of it eventually by dropping bombs along the track and eventually the Yoshi became sad inside from eating too many bombs and gave up and died. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. Uh, then, so after the party, the princess realized what Toad was doing. The princess realized that Toad was grifting money off of all of them and making money off of this whole thing. Superstar thing. Yeah. And she was not happy about that. Especially because, you know, the kingdom got attacked. Bowser attacked the bank. And, uh, Toad is presumably supposed to stop shit like that from happening. Maybe if they weren't all off on this adventure that he suggested, things wouldn't have gotten attacked like that. So, uh, Toad had to be punished. And Toad's punishment was cruel and unusual. Toad was forced into this weird blood sport. So, we know the princess's birthday was roughly around that time. She had made herself a giant cake. With it, and uh, she needed presents. She needed to be lavished with gifts for her birthday because she's the princess, goddammit. So she's demanding that Toad buy, with all of that money that he made, gifts for the, the, the princess. That would be how he would make it up, but he can't just buy the gifts and bring them. No, he's got to deliver them across a. a, a from one tall tower to another across a bridge of goonies. A turtle bridge of goonies. A bird bridge. And goonies are not a good bridge. No. I mean, okay, they're actually a halfway decent bridge. But not when uh, you have an incensed, bloodthirsty crowd throwing balloons to taunt the goonies into uh, stopping to be a bridge. So, um... Toad did his best, but he fell and uh, is presumably badly injured at this point. Because that's the most recent thing that's happened. <laughs> I was going to say he fell and died. There's no more Toad. <laughs> now, now, Toad's still around. We know he exists still in the future. Presumably, unless he was replaced with a different Toad who was granted the name Toad, but I'm pretty sure he survived and he's just badly injured. Well, following Toad's trial... The, that's it. That was the last game that we played. Oh, I thought there were more... Oh, right! No, yeah, there were, there were, there were a few other things in that. Right, 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 right. Um... Yeah, following Toad's trial, Mario was gonna head off home, but I, I guess Luigi was there watching the trial as well. Uh, they ran across Wario, who was begging for help, because Bowser was attacking. He was attacking his perfectly legitimate food factory delivery business. And you, you gotta help and, and stop Bowser so the people of the Mushroom Kingdom can, can have food. And so, basically, he convinces them to work his factory for free. His... basically a bottling plant. Yeah, it, it, it was a cake factory. Mm. So, uh, that, that was something that I, I found later, that those were, in fact, supposed to be cakes that they were making in the factory. Almost you. Yeah, <laughs> this is Lost Levels. It'll Kaizo. Nintendo did Kaizo before Kaizo. So yeah, Wario basically used Bowser's attack to get free labor out of the Mario Brothers. Bowser was just attacking because he was angry after the party, you know, he, he got, he was not invited to the party, so he was just throwing kind of a tantrum and screwing with everyone as they were doing their adventures across all of the places, and then he stole all of the stars from the Mushroom Bank and brought them into space and took over a giant power star, but then everyone beat him up and threw him into space. And so then he was very unhappy about that. So he got back and decided to wreck the first thing that he saw in the Mushroom Kingdom, which happens to be Wario's Cake Factory. 
Uh, I think Wario threw that up real quick, uh, as, like, during the trial, because he noticed, uh, a lack of, like, he, he noticed a market for concessions. Mm. So, he threw together this factory real quick, and, uh, so that, that was the first thing that Bowser saw when he got back from space. And so was wrecking it, and Wario just kind of used this for his own profit, because Wario's good at making profits. Uh, eventually Bowser wrecked enough cakes that he, he decided to go home. He was satisfied. And at that point, the, the Mario Brothers also went home, because, I mean, Bowser's no longer there, so... Wario, uh, finished that business. Maybe he actually set it up as a legit factory after that. Maybe he just tore it down. I don't know. He ended up with a whole lot of cakes that, uh, he could have frozen and sell forever. Or maybe eat and become very large. Yeah, maybe he was making himself a bunch of cakes. Who knows? He's an imp. Some uh, kind of dreamland imp. Then, uh, Mario, afterwards, went off to the Kong Islands, because, uh, Junior, you know, we, we mentioned earlier, Junior had his, uh, training course that he'd set up. Right. For, you know, following the, uh, his rescue of his father from Mario. And so they had additional training courses set up, and they they had to update the training courses over time, because at this point, you know, Mario isn't a threat to the, the Kong Isles anymore, but Bowser kind of could be. Bowser's the most uh, likely potential threat to the Kong Isles, especially given that they've already, you know, slaughtered all of the Kremlings. Mm -hmm. they, they kind of destroyed the entire Kremlin ecosphere. Well, the entire just... northern Kremlisphere. And just so so they don't have to worry about the Kremlin so much anymore. So they're 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 preparing for a potential assault from Bowser's forces. So they have that and I mean Mario is the foremost expert on fighting Bowser's forces at this point in time, at least as far as they know. So they they get Mario to, to come by and, and help out with planning their, their training exercise. And so that's that is the last thing that happened. And we're all caught up with the story of Mario. So what's all this happening then? Uh, this is not new events. This is just a retelling of the, the previous events. It's a remake of Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and all of those things before weren't. <laughs> well, no. There were other games besides Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> 